Hey guys, welcome into my channel. It is Karen Lavender Clothesline, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a haul that I couldn't believe that I got at the last minute. So we were shopping, Roger, my boyfriend, and I, and it was kind of a scant day. But then all of a sudden, I don't know, the vintage sky opened up and rained beautiful items right into my cart. So get yourself something to drink. Let's get started taking a look at vintage hard goods. So if you have been with me for a while, you know that this past year, I'm really trying not to pick up very big items or glass items and no dishes. <laughs> it's not working out so good. But today, the first thing I'm going to pick up is big, breakable, and glass. I will probably sell this local. There's no way I want to ship this. I'm going to grab it. So the first item is this beautiful vintage lampshade, hand-painted. And this, I believe, is called the cabin or the lake cabin. You can see a little house right there. This is hand painted. And I'm guessing that this is probably to an oil lamp or a kerosene lamp. So you can see what this looks like. Now this one, just let me say, does have a little flaw. It has a piece of, it looks like black, maybe carbon or glass baked right into the glass right there. I shouldn't say baked into it, but it's it's inside the glass. And I saw this and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? This looks very arts and crafts to me. That's the style. And what did I pay for this? $3.99, $3.99. Just beautiful. So like I was saying, most likely this is to an oil lamp or a kerosene lamp. I will insert photos here for some comps that sold to give you an idea of what this is gonna bring just beautiful. Now I probably could ship this one. It is pretty sturdy, but I don't know that I want to do that to myself. With selling at this level, I'm really trying to identify the stressors, you know, the things that just give me angst, and stop doing those things. So I have been selling items on Facebook Marketplace, and I will probably talk about that in another video. Facebook Marketplace has its ups and downs just like eBay, but I am selling hundreds if not thousands of dollars on that platform too, local pickup only. So this is the first item, a beautiful hand-painted glass lampshade. This second item is also a lampshade, also glass. I think it's a milk glass, you can tell by the white color inside, and hand-painted again. I don't see a signature on it. I have picked up hand-painted lampshades, reverse painted. Um, you know what, I'm gonna take this ring off. It's clinging against the glass. That was a bad idea to wear a big ring. And I think that when you look at these lampshades, you can kind of tell what kind of lamp it went into. So my thought on this one is a hanging lamp because the lip is around the top. So that is where the lamp would fit into the, um, what do we want to call it? Into the bracket, it's not a bracket. Hello, say hello to YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> So with any lampshade, I try to take a look at the way the lampshade is formed and figure out what kind of lamp it came out of. That helps with my keywords. So this one has the lip up top, and I'm thinking that it might either be a hanging lampshade or again, an oil kerosene lamp. Just beautiful. And did I say what I paid for this one? $3.99. I can't believe these items go through the whole Goodwill process, you know, getting donated, coming through the back, you know, where they process things, and being put out on the floor, and it didn't break. Just amazing. These are genuine vintage. I'm not very good at lamps, judging what period, time period, but just beautiful, and I said yes to it. So Roger and I were going up and down the aisles. My cart had some clothing and a few pieces of hard goods, nothing really of note. And I came around the corner and I saw Roger holding two big pieces and my eyes just zeroed in on this one. I didn't even hear what he was saying. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous lamp. Is this not the most beautiful lamp I, I just, I was speechless. It was kind of like time moved slowly because I have a real love for these lamps. They don't really go with my home decor, 
but I think I saw these when I was younger and I have seen different ones in antique shops and they're always priced so high. So Roger came around the corner, he had like a Buddha statue, a resin one in one hand and this in the other and he was asking me about the garden statue. He said, is this any good? Is this any good? And I was just like, give me that. <laughs> just gorgeous now to put a disclaimer out there he was picking them up for me so thank you sweetie if you're watching i appreciate all you do for me in bringing me treasure and just learning what i pick up love you very much this is okay so this is an art nouveau it's a french style i don't think this one was made in france it does have markings which i cannot read I'll put a screenshot of those if I remember to, and maybe you sleuths out there can find out, you know, where this was made. So it is a wood base, and lamps like this are usually made out of one or two materials. They're either bronze or brass, but bronze is more likely, or they are spelter. This one is made out of a spelter. That's the more common, less expensive material, but nonetheless, I am just thrilled. Now, the way I could tell that it was made out of spelter, which is like a pot metal or a mixed metal, is that it's got a little bit chipping at the very base, and that gave me the clue see this chipping right here how you can see it's a really a silver metal under a paint and brass or bronze would be so extremely heavy i could barely lift it so because i can lift this one i mean it still has weight to it fairly easy i knew right away that it was spelter but still i'm expecting probably two hundred dollars for this it does have a little bit of damage the brace bar it's usually a bar back here just to keep these tubes stable these tubes are hollow and the wire runs through it to electrify the sockets um, so the brace bar is missing but i don't think that's a big deal she is gorgeous just love her and she's on a wood base so yes, 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 Roger, this is good. <laughs> An Art Nouveau lady lamp. The next item is quite large. I'll stand back with it so you can see it. It is a hand-painted toll tray table. Look how gorgeous this is. The minute I saw this, oh, absolutely. And it's got foldable legs. Now the table does come apart. The tray pops off. $4.99 I paid for it. And I have never seen one this pretty and in this good condition. So I'm going to stand back so you get the idea. And like I said, it's collapsible. So this tray comes off. Let me see if I can do it quickly for us. Okay, that made a very loud noise. There we go. So the legs come apart and the tray top. A little bit easier to ship. I'm going to take a look at what the shipping cost is. Most likely I will ship this because even though it's a little bit bulky or awkward, you can fold down the legs and um, it's not breakable. So that is this item. Fell in love with it. $4.99. Did I say the price? I think I did. I'm not sure what this will bring. I'm going to look at comps and see if there are any, you know, that are this nice, that are this um, good condition and, um, and judge from there. Next item up is a needle point with some birds and berries, trying to get the light off. No ring light today, but I do have my window curtains open. And just beautiful. This is all hand done. I might pop off the cardboard and see what I'm dealing with inside and judge then whether I'll take it out of the frame. You guys always know that if something's going to cost the buyer a lot in shipping, a lot of times I take it out of the frame. That's what I choose to do. I know a few of you have said to not take it out of the frame because framing is expensive. Nowadays, you can get better priced framing. It's only very expensive if you go to a professional framer. But if you bring something like this to um, to size up and bring it into like a Michaels or whatever and buy framing off the rack, not custom, it still will be more money if you're shipping it because shipping costs are through the roof, especially if my buyer, say, is in Utah or California or out of the country. If the buyer lives in Pennsylvania or somewhere in the area, it wouldn't be as expensive. So I'm going to take a look at all of that, but I love Needlepoint. Just beautiful. This next item I saw sitting on the Goodwill shelf and it fooled me, fooled me totally. So I said, wow, that's amazing that the finials of this old clock 
are still intact. How could that be? Definitely wood, and you could see $2.99. And when I turned it around, I said, wow, this is in great shape. But the first telltale sign that I knew it was not old was this latch here. So when we open it up, the first thing you can see is it's battery operated, which is not a bad thing in itself. But then when I looked on the bottom, $19.99, and it was put out by Market Bazaar. <laughs> but look how good this is. So I will buy items like this, even though it's not like a Howard Miller or you know some other really good clock name, because a lot of people don't need it to be you know high-end, super vintage. They're looking for the look of it. So I said yes to this Market Bazaar reproduction beautiful mantle clock. The next item that I grabbed off the shelf, a latch hook kit. This is Natura and it is a kitten with a butterfly. Can't get any better than that. And what did I pay for this? Am I looking right at the price? $3.99. Now this will probably bring, I'm guessing, 15 to 18, maybe a little bit more because it's new in box. But I always say yes to this. Because it's easy to ship, because these are well loved, people look for these. Um, latch hook kits are always a yes if it's a sealed box. I always question and have to look through if it's a very big one that's in an open box, like really big, like over three feet, I will open the box and consider it. But if it's a smaller one and it's open, I don't take the time to pick that up because then you'll have to um, count yarn pieces and make sure it's all there. And I don't really want to get caught up in counting a bunch of little pieces that's why I say no to mixed Legos unless they have a lot of figures you know things puzzle pieces no we're not counting those things so yes to latch hook rug kits if they're new in box sealed this is a very weird item. I don't think it's vintage but I wanted to throw this in to make this point. I saw this sitting on a shelf three dollars they wanted for it and I thought, wow, that is really good for Halloween. A lot of people really go all out for Halloween and, um, you know, and pick up things like this. This is Walmart. And does it have a date on it? I don't see a date. $2.99 Goodwill wanted for it. That's what I paid. And because it's such a nice large platter and it's got such a good skull motif, I said yes to this. It is made out of plastic. So not hard to ship, and it won't bring a high profit again, but I figured I would mention that, that even when something's Walmart, sometimes if it's very good, I go ahead and pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. I have no idea if I have hauled this next piece. I can't figure it out, and I'm like, I'm just gonna haul it again if I did it already. I am losing track, truly. So I do remember that I showed it in the video, picking it up and putting it in my cart. This is gonna be very hard to show a very very large mirrored vanity tray and even saying that i feel like i did this but i wanted to really make sure that i covered this one look at the filigree work on the edge of this thing just beautiful and i did pay ten dollars for it i am flipping this on facebook marketplace i don't imagine this will last long but absolutely love it. It's very heavy. You get a workout picking it up. And I did comp this. I did try to search for this or a similar one. I did not find the comp for this. So if you guys are interested in looking at comps, this thing is probably, I'm going to say this has got to be two and a half feet maybe. And like I said, I couldn't find a comp, which I really need to find comparisons to see what type of price to set on this because I really don't have a good idea. This one I won't be shipping, absolutely not. A mirrored tray, you're just asking for trouble. But, um, but I fell in love with it. I did go back and forth a little bit on the video. Should I get it? Should I not get it? And of course I got it. Just beautiful. When items are this beautiful, I will put them in my cart if they're a good price and figure it out later how to ship it or how to sell it. And that always works out well. So um, just beautiful. I really love this piece. So you guys know me. I love wood items. I love wooden boxes. I don't know what the um, attraction to wood boxes are, but when they're beautifully made, I just absolutely love them. This one is an older one made out of cedar wood. I paid $2.99 for it. 
And I love that the dovetail joinery or the mortar and tennis, or there's another, uh, what's the other name to it? Oh, and I just remembered it the other day. I can't think of it right here. I love that the box is put together that way. And I also love the decoupage print on the top. So pretty. It would have been better even if it had a lock and key, but no lock and key on this one. And this is cedar. Cedar is so identifiable. Probably one of the easiest woods to identify because it, the striations are so bold. And um, yeah, and I just love this. No idea what this is gonna go for. I'm gonna guess probably 20 to 25, somewhere in that range. And at $3, absolutely yes. All right, and the last item we're gonna do are candlestick holders. So I was picking up quite a bit of brass probably about six months, a year to six months ago, and that trend seems to have cooled, but I am still selling quite a few of the pewter or the silver color. Now, if they were solid silver, no problem selling those, but I am picking up candlesticks that kind of look like this. So I have two of these, no marking, I don't imagine these are even silver plate. Now, if you find candlesticks solid silver, number one, you've found a gem. They're going to go for good money. In the silver, there is silver plate, there is solid silver, and there are weighted bases. They put cement in this base to give it more weight. And of course, it makes it seem like you have this really heavy silver item. If you're going to resell those, most people are tearing those apart, getting rid of the piece of cement in the bottom, and then weighing the silver. But in any case, these are gorgeous. I love this style. In my title, I also put farmhouse and any other decorating trend that I can think of. But these are gorgeous. And what did I pay for these? $2.99. I think I got them for $2.99 for the set, the cashier said. So, um, so that was a great find. And one more candlestick. We only found a single, I think Roger found this one. This I was hoping was silver because it has a really unique style, but alas, it is Pottery Barn. <laughs> but I took it anyway, $2.99, and people really like this pewter color. And I thought this was really nice shape. Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm gonna show a little bit of the clothing that I've been picking up in the thrift stores. Most times when I'm in the thrift store, I don't show um, thrifting clothing because it's very hard when the racks are tight with clothing or new racks are coming out. But I do like to share, since I'm Lavender Clothesline, what brands of clothing I like or what items I think are going to do well on eBay. All right, so as you can see, I have a rack behind me. Let's get started. I will try to remember to tell you what I paid for it, what I think it'll sell for, and just generally why I picked it up. All right, let's get started with item number one. So I think this is pretty self-evident of why I picked it up. This is Adidas. It is just a crew neck sweatshirt and it's got the big Adidas logo on the front. I love this. It's a beautiful bird pattern. And I'm just realizing I should keep this. Very fun. I feel like I've sold this same one before. It might've even been a zip up hoodie and it did very well. So I'm sure there's a name to the print, which I did not stop to look up because I know I've sold it before. What did I pay for this? I might have cut this tag off. I'm thinking I probably paid $6.99 for it. And off the top of my head, between $35 and $40, if the comps are that high. If the comps aren't that high, there's no way I'm going to get away with that. Then it would be lower. But I said yes to this because of the beautiful colorway and the pattern. So in all my years of thrifting, I don't think I have found this brand before. It is Sweaty Betty. I've been waiting to find one of these. So this is what the tag looks like. And this thing is so super soft. And I had heard about this name. I'm not quite sure if Sweaty Betty is just like a .com, if they're only on a website, or if they have brick and mortar stores. I don't think I've ever seen a brick and mortar uh, Sweaty Betty. 575 minus 15%, 15%, 10%. Let me think about this, 15%. I forgot how much percentage it is on Mondays. That is when I hit the stores hard, the thrift stores, because it is senior citizen discount here on Mondays. So um, always yes to shopping on Mondays. Super soft, doesn't even look like it's been worn. I think this one did have a light mark. 
I'll have to find it and point it out, but I won't wash this one because I'm pretty sure that this is um, from a store, you know, from the Sweaty Betty store. It's not been owned. I don't know what Sweaty Betty goes for. Again, that's a brand that you can run a comp on and just see, you know, the price range for it. Next up, two t-shirts, liquid blue. So that is the tag there. So you can see big giant venomous snakes. I don't know who sells liquid blue. Some of the older uh, vintage liquid blues do really well uh, t-shirt wise. And here is the other one. All kinds of scariness, skulls and things like that. Again, new with tag. And this one was 25 also. I don't see a store name on that tag. So I imagine that I will comp from there. So I will look at if these are bringing the store price because it is new with tags. Sometimes that happens on eBay. Oh, the thunder is loud here. Sometimes when I go to a thrift store and I find an item new with tags and it shows the price it was in the retail store, you can even get a higher amount if it was an item that was in high demand and sold out. That's always exciting. I've done that with H&M, with uh, Forever 21, where something catches on, some celebrity wore it, everybody wants it, it sells out, and then you find a new with tags one in the thrift store and you get crazy high money for it. That's happened a couple of times to me and I always try to be aware if it has a reason it's trending. I think I found a sweatshirt once with like elf legs on it and Katy Perry wore it. So I got really good money for that sweatshirt because it was sold out in, uh, I think that was H&M. All right, next item. This is Talbots. I don't pick up all Talbots, but look how beautiful this is. It is a cashmere sweater, three quarter sleeve, beautifully soft, excellent condition, size large. Pure cashmere. I really like this colorway. So I paid $4.99 minus the 15%. I'm not going to keep saying that through the whole video. And I'm going to get probably $35 to $40 for it. Here's a sweater that has a beautiful colorway. Look at the colorway on this one. Is this gorgeous? This is not Kuji. This is Tundra, I believe. Is it Tundra? Tundra of Canada. So pretty. I wonder if this is a woman's or a men's, probably a men's, but boy, is that nice. This is the reason I picked it up. It looks like a Kuji. People want this type of sweater. It is vintage. Tundra does quite well, not as good as Kuji uh, does. I've sold Kuji sweaters, I think my top to date, 800, 600, I don't even remember. Uh, but this one is Tundra. Here is the tag. And what did I pay for this? $5.75 is the tag price. So if you're seeing something you like, you guys know I don't sell on YouTube or any other platform, it should be listed in my eBay store middle of next week. I'm going as quick as I can. I did get a lot of listings on these past few days. I got all the Franciscan Desert Rose dishes on, a lot of the hard goods on, the quilts on, because a lot of that has to be washed. Like all those dishes needed to be cleaned. So that takes some time. But um, all right, next item. All right, next one up is a dress. Beautiful, beautiful. This is like a geometric pattern. I think there's a name to this. It's not abstract geometric. I forget what this is called. It's not color block. There's another name I'm forgetting. And this is Rag and Bone. Rag and Bone is a great brand that I love to find. Let's see if I can, you know what? Let me take it off the hanger so it's a little bit easier. Boy, the sky is so dark right now and all the leaves are falling off the tree. So I'm waiting for that big clap of thunder. Rag and bone. I love finding rag and bone jeans and just the different pieces. It's a really pretty brand. This is $7, 100% silk dress. Now with silk dresses, I try to be really careful and not pick up any with stains or flaws because silk really needs a special dry cleaning, which is more expensive in my area, or um, if they can be hand washed, it's really a thing because then you have to hand wash it, hang dry it, steam it, a lot of steps. But this one's beautiful, pockets, it's like a shift dress, and I really like this style. Unfortunately, I think I said it is an extra small. I would have been happier. Oh, it's a two, extra small. I would have been happier if it was like a 16. Come on, rag and bone. <laughs> so I said yes to it. Here is a jacket that I went back and forth about in the thrift store. I showed it on Instagram. 
I must have known somebody who wore a jacket like this or something because somewhere deep in the recesses of my mind is a memory of this colorway. This is so 70s looking for me. And I don't know if this is a vintage Ben Sherman. I'm thinking it is just because of the colorway. Look at this jacket. I love this. So it's like a track jacket men's and in beautiful condition, 575 is the Goodwill tag and it's just a fuzz. Just really beautiful shape and it has the Ben Sherman signature on the sleeve. I'll report back on Instagram what this one brings. I have no idea. I'm probably going to price it at about the $75 mark or I might start it lower and do an auction and see if there's any interest that way. So this is a size two, which is a medium. So it must be small as a one, medium as a two, large as a three. Sometimes companies use a numbering system, but um, beautiful, beautiful. Here is a brand I've never heard of before. Pair of pants, men's new with tags. This is, how do we say that? Crag hoppers. This is for bug resistancy. So when you go like hunting, camping, fishing, this uh, Discover Your World, Smart Dry, Solar Shield, it has all of these protections built in. And it is a cargo pant for men's, brand new, with all the tags, beautiful condition, and $7. Yes, please. So I don't know that Crag Hoppers is a really high dollar seller, but when I can get a pair of pants that has like a specialty niche, like people that are, you know, outdoor hiking or some kind of athletic sport, something like that, I always take a look at it because a lot of times um, they're very good sellers. I'm going to put it that way. So I'm going to show you the tag. Crag Hoppers. So you want to look that up if you find an article of clothing. Now, if this was pre-owned, I might not have picked them up because new with tags, always a yes for me. All right, so I have four more pieces on the rack and then I'm gonna scoot. Roger and I are learning how to play pickleball. <laughs> Never a dull moment with this man, so much fun. And then we'll go out to dinner and probably talk reselling the whole entire time. That's usually our Friday night. The next two are skorts, and you guys know me, I'm picking up a ton of skorts, picking them up as fast as I can find them. Jamie Sadek, and that is what it looks like. Now again, with skorts, I don't get a lot of money for them. These I bought at $4.50, beautiful condition. A skort is shorts, hold these, you know what? I'm always trying to juggle five things at once. I'm like, why don't you just put a pair down, Karen? Okay, good idea. <laughs> Let me see. Shorts, built in, under a skirt, skort. I'm sure you all know that, but since I've been saying skort a lot, I figured I would describe it. And that's what it looks like. And what did I say, 450? 450 minus the 15%. I'll probably get 22 to 24 for each, uh, and the buyer pays shipping. All right, two more items. Next item is a good one. This is Eileen Fisher. I don't pick up all Eileen Fisher. I used to pick up all Eileen Fisher, but the small sizes sell dreadfully slow for me, unless it's a special piece. This is Eileen Fisher, and the size is extra large. And it is just the perfect black career blazer. Really nice, looks like a three-quarter sleeve. A little bit oversized, really nice, open front, just, you know, one of those basic black pieces that you love to have in your closet that you reach for time and time again. This is great for evening wear, career, pretty much anything, dressing up a pair of jeans, and um, I do very well with jackets like this. Eileen Fisher, extra large, in nice condition, I'm going to say at least $60, so yes, yes, yes. All right, and the last piece on the rack, I just felt a little bit of this, and I was like, what is that? What, the, the quality of this is beautiful. It's all, I'm going to come really close, all hand beaded, little camisole. I so wished this was my size. This is gorgeous. And it is Sue Wong, S-U-E-W-O-N-G, size two. <laughs> Definitely not my size. 100% silk, and what did I pay for it? $4.99. Sue Wong does beautiful um, dresses, evening wear, very elegant, 
very beautiful and I don't think I'll have a problem selling this even in a size 2. All right, the rack is empty. That is it for me today. I am going to shut the camera off, run around like a crazy person, get my act together, and then go out for my Friday evening. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. <laughs>